Hello students, welcome to the YouTube channel Medicals Factory. Hope you guys are doing good in pharmacology. So let's start today's session. So today's topic is pharmacokinetics, one of the important aspect of general pharmacology. It is your base to build strong concept in pharmacology. So let's begin. Pharmacokinetics study of drug movement in the body from its site of administration till going out of the body. So how drug move inside our body? It means pharmacokinetics. There are various factors responsible for this process that we will discuss further. It involves absorption, distribution, metabolism, excretion. You can also remember this as A, uh, ADME. So next topic is passive transfer. In that, we will see simple diffusion. Transfer of a drug molecule across the membrane from higher to lower concentration. So, process is concentration gradient dependent. So, energy is not required. That is from higher concentration to lower concentration. Simply, when you climbing slope on top side, you need energy. When opposite of it, you don't need energy. Higher to higher concentration to lower concentration. Same concept in simple diffusion. The speed of diffusion is directly proportional to concentration gradient. It means how fast the molecule will exchange is dependent on how higher the concentration is. You can see same concept in figure. Molecules are getting exchanged from higher concentration to lower concentration. So that's all about simple diffusion. So next is filtration. It is a passage of drug molecule through aqueous pores in the membrane. So this process is exchange between aqueous pore that is pores formed during process of hydration. The moment is according to concentration gradient, higher concentration to lower concentration. Drug having smaller molecule size can cross the membrane. Suppose this is the membrane and this is molecule of smaller size can pass easily through membrane. But suppose it is a molecule of bigger size, it will pass, but not that easily. So the next is carrier mediated transport. In that, we are going to learn about active transport. It is a transfer of the drug against concentration gradient. So it requires energy. So we have already seen previously in simple diffusion with example of slope. Hope you guys remembered. This process is very easy. The molecule binds to carrier. Let's see first. This is our membrane. Drug molecule will come and it attach with carrier. This complex will move across the membrane on the other side inside the cell complex will dissociate drug is released inside the cell and carrier will move back to transport another molecule okay you can see in this picture also Example is absorption of flavor dopa from intestine. 
if two drugs are transported by a same transporter the transporter of other drug is inhibited so remember transport should not be same or else out of two drug transport of one drug will stop and example is probenecid plus penicillin both are compete for renal tubule secretion probenecid inhibits secretion of penicillin so the second is facilitated diffusion carrier can transport a drug molecule according to concentration gradient that is higher concentration to lower concentration that's why energy is not required the drug attach to carrier in the membrane which facilitated its diffusion across the membrane example is uptake of amino acid in brain and uptake of glucose by cells the next is endocytosis first is pinocytosis a process in which a cell engulfs a fluid or drug in solution as you can see in the figure where fluid is engulfed into solution next is phagocytosis phago means to eat the drug particle can be transported in the cell by local invagination of the cell membrane here the transport is by invagination that is folding of outer layer to take drug particle inside that is phagocytosis so the next is various sites from which drug can be absorbed through buccal mucosa lipid soluble drugs will be absorbed from stomach acidic drugs are absorbed due to its acidic environment hence basic drug not absorbed in stomach and from intestine basic drugs are absorbed due to its alkaline medium hence acidic drug can't be absorbed in intestine so the next is absorption from the parenteral roots through intravenous drug directly reach the systemic circulation and get absorbed and that's why the iv route is more preferred to deal with the emergency condition next is intramuscular due to vascularity of muscle drug directly absorbed into the circulation that is from the blood supply of muscle drug is absorbed subcutaneous after subcutaneous injection absorption is slower because subcutaneous tissue have limited blood vessels through topical routes highly lipid soluble drug is absorbed from the skin example is nitroglycerin so this is all about today's session in next session absorption topic will be continued again so watch entire session of it in case of any doubt use comment section we are trying to provide you all best content free of course so kindly share further so that other students too can avail benefit have a nice day bye bye